Hi, welcome to Civil War Digital Digest. I'm Andrew Roscoe, and today we're doing an episode out of the vault. This is our chance as a show to get to work with museums and take artifacts out of their collections, either artifacts they can't get to show very often or that they don't get to show at all, and to put them in front of you and articulate their story. Today we're partnered with the Detroit Historical Society, and I want to thank Jeremy Dimmick, who's their collections director, for bringing us this artifact today. For me, this is a really special one. This is the drum of musician Willie Young, G Company, 24th Michigan Volunteer Infantry. And the photo you're seeing here is Willie Young as a musician when he enlisted in the 24th Michigan. And I want to say thank you to the University of Michigan for sharing this image with us today. For me as a historian, this is what I did my master's capstone on was this regimental history. And it's really amazing to get to have this in front of me to talk about. Willie Young is the youngest member of the 24th Michigan. He was born in 1849 or 1850 in Pennsylvania. And when the regiment was formed in early 1862, uh, he was only 13 years old. Think about how young that is. We always have this mythos of the drummer boy is, super, is very young person. And that's often not very true, but he's kind of the exception that proves that. When the, the 24th Michigan, when they're formed, there's President Lincoln calls for extra troops, 300,000 more volunteers, and there's a pro-war meeting in the city of Detroit that's disrupted by anti-war protesters. And the city of Detroit's under this cloud of shame for uh, the way this happened, that they actually asked and got permission to raise an extra regiment of troops, which became the 24th Michigan Volunteer Infantry. Willie Young, when he enlists, as far as we know, he didn't enlist with a father or a brother or anything like that. Um, I can't see any other familial connections. So he's just a 13 year old student that chooses to go off to war. And the 24th Michigan had saw, saw some of the hardest combat of the Civil War. At Gettysburg, they have the record in the Union Army of the highest single day percentage loss in the entire US Army history of 80.5%. And he was there for that as far as we can tell. Perhaps this drum was what he was carrying that day. You know, he went through all the service with the 24th Michigan, including being at Lincoln's funeral at the end of the Civil War where the 24th was the honor guard. And again, he probably beat this drum there. At, and Willie Young makes it home to the city of Detroit and musters out June 1865 with the rest of the regiment. After the war in 1874, he married Louisa Oatman, had five kids. We know that by 1880, he was living or working at 11 Napoleon Street and he was working as an engraver. Unfortunately, we don't know a lot more about Willie Young. We know that in 1911, he applied for a pension when he was about 61 years old, and he died the following December at the age of 62. He's buried here in Detroit at Elmwood Cemetery, which is a great old cemetery where a lot of important people from the city of Detroit have been buried over the years, especially the people with Civil War uh, heritage or lineage. So again, this has been a great opportunity for me to take and talk to you about this artifact and hopefully you can make a connection to it. Think about as a young soldier what Willie saw and how that formed his life view. Like could you imagine yourself at 13 going off to war and going through that? I want to say thank you to our patrons who are the one who provide us the sponsorship that we can be here and we can bring you this great quality. And I want to say as well, thank you to the historic Fort Wayne Coalition for giving us the shooting location today. I'm Andrew Roscoe from Civil War Digital Digest, and we'll catch you next time.